So, there's a couple YouTube videos I've seen. It said 21 books I need to read in 2021. At least that's how I remember it. So today we have The White Rabbit. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And let's get started. Um, some of these are books I started last year, or this year, 2020. And I want to get done. Um, John Constantine Hellblazer Warlord. And it did not cost 50 cents like the sticker says. It cost me like $8. Uh, it's by John Shirley. It's pretty much about a, uh, like a demon warlord that likes to trigger, is trying to trigger the apocalypse. Gotta love John Constantine. It actually says that in the comics. It's not Constantine, it's Constantine. So, that's something. Definitely like the series. I've read a lot of the comics. So there's, it's just a little novel. Rod, and John Shirley writes some really weird stuff. So yeah. Definitely gonna try to get this one done. James Lovegrove, Age of Shiva. I have no idea what this is about, but it talks about the ten avatars, battle demons, and aliens to bring about the apocalypse. So, so far we have a theme, the apocalypse. Here's the cover. It's pretty cool. Brian Keane, Ghost Lock. I've actually got to get to this finally. Y'all know Brian Keane. He's a pretty good horror author. On a trail. All right, then. Ted Andrews, Simplified Magic, A Beginner's Guide to the New Age of Kabbalah. Not really a big fan of New Age stuff, but I like the idea of what he wrote in this. He is one of my favorite writers. I do think I've read a lot of his stuff, and I think I've read this before, like 14 years ago. So there's that. Llewellyn, which I don't personally care for, but that's the publisher. Bleak History by John Shirley. It's another book I got halfway through. It's one of the bookmarks I found at Goodwill buying books. Bleak History. So it's about a guy that has psychic powers and he's kind of going against the top secret division of Homeland Security that deals with the paranormal. Um, Elementals and other beings, Gabriel's about to face the greatest demonic uprising since the Dark Ages. But this time, history is not going to repeat itself. This time, the future is bleak. Gabriel Bleak. Like John Shirley, I read Demons by him. I actually didn't finish it because it was kind of dark and gruesome and kind of disgusting. That's why I did not review that. Um, this, guy, th this book this month, Rumi, the Big Red Book. The Great Masterpiece Celebrating Mystical Love and Friendship. And that is a tone. It is, well, it's not too bad, about 470 pages, but it's poetry, so you guys know it's not, like, impossible to read. And he's like a, mis a Sufi mystic from the Middle Ages, so I'm looking forward to that. And then a series I've been trying to wrap up is The Myron Balatar by Harlan Coben. Coben. This is pretty much about a private investigator that, uh, and a sports agent, and an old NBA basketball player that investigates crimes. These are all different stories, which I'm trying to get through. Give me one second. This is the next one I gotta read. They aren't too bad. They read pretty quick. Live Wire and Long Shot Lost. That's what the guy actually looks like. Ain't he just pretty? But I like his writing, so I don't care what the author looks like. Uh, I think this is the last book in a three-part series. Star Wars Thrawn Treason. Which, Thrawn is like a Grand Admiral of the Imperial Fleet. I think it starts with this trilogy, and then it goes into a second trilogy. But these books read pretty quick, too. They're, I mean, Star Wars is pretty broad. I mean, bold print. Not much there. And then another book I started but never got through, and I want to finish the series within the next couple of days. Um, Seal Team 666, and there's one of the Christmas presents I got. A bookmark. 
Park. Uh, it's about a special United States SEAL team that takes care of paranormal threats to the United States and to the world. They actually have like a chronology in one of the books where it talks about how far back they got. They're like, we've always had a dog. I think the first one was like a, a maybe an English Bulldog, but I'm not certain. It's like different types of dogs because I guess dogs detect paranormal stuff. So there's that. It started with just SEAL Team 6, then it goes to Age of Blood, and then it goes to Reign of Evil. But it is a pretty good book series. I'm enjoying it. It's horror. Simple as that. Paranormal horror. With a military swing. And then uh, my favorite, one of my other favorite authors, which I don't talk much about, is Iknath Azwarin. And I have Seeing with the Eyes of Blood on the Imitation of Christ. Which is something I'm going to have to get to. It takes like maybe three hours to read his books. I don't know why I don't. Love Never, Never Faileth on St. Francis, St. Paul, St. Augustine, and Mother Teresa. Eknath Iswaran was a college professor in California. One of the major universities, I don't exactly remember. Maybe Berkeley? I don't know what that is, but UCLA, something like that. And then I have another one by him. Strength in a storm, creating calm in difficult times. Meditation is a big thing with him. That is a really beautiful cover. You guys can really see it. Uh, yeah, I like him. It's pretty cool. And then I got a bunch of Carlos Castaneda, Castaneda books I'm trying to get through. I've read most of them, but I think I have four left. Carlos Castaneda, The Second Ring of Power. The Eagle's Gift. And they're just kind of stacking up right here. Tales of Power. And The Fire from Within. So this is kind of uh, Yaqui shamanism. And finally, but not least, because it's the most expensive book I've bought in 2020, it is The Vengeful Gin by Rosemary Ellen Guiley and Philip J. Impregno. It's kind of a, instead of aliens blaming aliens, this they kind of blame the gin. But I enjoy it. It's pretty cool. It goes into a lot about the Islamic culture in relation to gin. And there's a lot of first-hand personal experiences, um, which a lot of times they kind of say the shadow people or gin in this book, which I kind of go with says in the back, like bold print, the truth about a race of beings that you thought only existed in your imagination and your nightmares. So yes, a non-fiction book. I guess it would depend on who you ask, but I'm enjoying it. I think I agree with about 40% of what they have to say. So uh, yeah, that's 21 books I have to read in 2021. And I feel like this guy in Alice in Wonderland is constantly running trying to get my books read. Um, have you read any of these books? And if you have, what did you think? Tell me what your goal for 2021 is. What, And I will try to keep up on this. Yay! I do have Conclave by Robert. No, I don't remember. Thomas Harris, maybe? Or Robert Harris, I forget. But I got to review that sometime in the next couple of days. I and Conclave was a pretty badass book, especially having to do with Cardinals and the Vatican. So. Looking forward to putting that review up. You guys take care, and I shall see you soon. I look forward to reading your comments. Have a good day, and stay safe.